welcome back to my channel, or hi, hello if you're new here. Today I have my May favorites for you all, and I'm super excited. I cannot believe that we are finally in the last days of May. I just cannot believe that. This month has really flown by very, very quickly, and I have some new and old products that I have rediscovered my love for, for this month. So let's just go ahead and get right on into it. Something that I have rediscovered and loved for this month of May is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Foundation. And I am in the shade 220 Natural Beige. I forgot just how much I love this foundation, especially for this time of the year. It is a pretty full coverage, long lasting foundation from the drugstore that is actually really, really good. Um, it is a bit pricey because this does price about $10 to $12 depending on where you get it. But I really do like this foundation a lot. I love that it now has a pump. Um, because used to it didn't do, used to have a pump you'd have to like dip it into the back of your hand. So I really like that this now has a pump. Um, and this does really withstand like the heat and everything where I live. And not a lot of foundations a lot of the times really do, but... This one does really hold up nicely to the heat, so I really do like this foundation a lot, and I am so glad that I have rediscovered it. Alright, so I have been loving this contour and highlighter duo from Beauty at Big Bangs. This is a really good contour shade for my skin tone. Um, this is in the shade 03, and I'm just going to open this up and show you guys what it looks like. So there it is. And now, I did a whole in-depth review on this product, um... And you guys will see that video on this Saturday. So if you want to know more about this product, then you'll have to check out that review. I'll have a link down below where you guys can watch it. But Beauty Big Things did send me this little contour and highlighter duo. And I really have been enjoying it, especially the contour shade. I'm wearing it today, and I really think that you guys should go check this out. Alright, something old that I have rediscovered my love for this month is my e.l.f. Illuminating Highlighter Palette. And this is super affordable on e.l.f.'s website or you can pick this up at Target or Walmart for about 6 bucks. But this is just what the highlighter palette looks like. Mine is very beat up because I did drop it and I have used this a ton since I've owned it. I love the white highlighter in here. It is so pretty and just so subtle and simple for every day. I'm wearing it today and I love it. You also get a really pretty pink highlighter in here and then you get two highlighters at the bottom. That would be very perfect if you have a deeper skin tone or you could use them as eyeshadows. I've done that before and they're really, really pretty. So I definitely do like this palette a lot and I'm so glad that I have rediscovered it and have relearned that I love this palette. Alright, this next product sort of kind of is makeup or it is makeup related and I just wanted to throw this in here. I have been loving this little lip balm that I picked up from the dollar store this month. It is actually very moisturizing for my lips. I don't know the name brand or anything like that of this lip balm but it just looks like it's in a little honeybee. And you open it up and it actually smells like strawberries. And it smells so, so good. And it is actually pink, but it doesn't change your lips pink. Um, and like I said, this has been really moisturizing for my lips. I put this on before I go to bed as well as when I'm putting my makeup on, I'll put this on so that way my lips can kind of soak up the moisture before I put lipsticks or liquid lipsticks or just anything like that on my lips so that way they are very moisturized before... I put something over them, and I really do like this a lot. And like I said, I picked this up at Dollar Tree, so that is where you can find it if you want to check it out. And they have, like, a ton of other scents as well. All right, this next product I actually am wearing today, and this is from Beauty Big Bangs again. And this is just their double eyebrow pencil. I love this so, so much. This is in the shade 01, and I did a review on it this month, and I'll have that linked down below you guys can watch it and check it out but on one side you just get the color so that is just what it looks like it is actually pointed in like a triangular um tip and then on the other side you just get a little spoolie and i really do like this eyebrow pencil a lot i feel like it is a good match for me um it is black but it doesn't come off super black like on my eyebrows. I was a little bit nervous that this was going to be a little bit too dark, but it's actually not. I feel like it matches my eyebrows pretty 
well and pretty nicely and it is very easy to use it's not super creamy it is kind of stiff um and normally i don't like that for eyebrow pencils but i really don't mind it with this one since it is so precise because of the triangular tip something else that i'm wearing today and that i have been loving and trying out for the month of may and i did a first impressions on this mascara and i'm not really sure when you guys will see that probably sometime next month but I have been loving the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Now, I just have a little sample size, which retails about $12 at Sephora or Ulta. I love this mascara. It gives you such voluminous lashes. Like, they are very voluminous and just very volumized. Um, and they do kind of look a little bit lengthened. So, it does kind of lengthen your lashes. But, this is just what the wand looks like. It is a big old wand. And, it literally covers every single one of your lashes. I wear about two coats of this and it gives me such doll-like fake looking lashes. I love it. And ever since I have been wearing this mascara, a ton of people has asked me if I'm wearing false lashes and I'm like, nope, it is just this mascara. So I really do like this mascara a lot and I really think that you guys need to go invest in it. Alright, and then last but certainly not least, I have been loving these LA Color Ice Pigments. I picked one up in the shade Glowing, and it is just a really pretty bronze glittery shade. Oh my goodness, like one swipe of this just on your eyelid alone and you are good to go. I feel like this is going to get a lot of use during the summer months because I just really love glittery eyeshadow in the summertime. I love like when the light hits it, like the sunlight hits it and you just see like a really pretty shimmer over the lid. I just think that's super, super gorgeous. And if the glowing shade is not your cup of tea, don't worry. They have a ton of other colors. They've got like tons of bright colors of these as well as long as with some neutrals and you can pick these up at family dollar or on la colors website because that is the only places that these are available and they retail for about two bucks but i have really been loving these all right y'all so that is it for this may favorites video i hope you all really did enjoy it and let me know down in the comments below what has been some of your favorites for the month of may and please make sure if you haven't already that you are subscribed to my youtube channel and that when you do that you click the little bell next to the subscribe button because youtube has changed their policies and just different things and a lot of times even though you are subscribed to youtubers you don't get notified now that they upload videos unless you have their notifications on so please make sure that you have my notifications on so that way you guys can see it when every single time I upload a video and so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in my next one very very soon bye guys